to the Corona Yoga Challenge. Today is day 66. Nice, nice symmetrical number for us today. If you make sure that you check my website for health issues and how to keep safe and subscribe here if you want to so that you get an update when the emails, when the new videos are uploaded. Uh, we're going to start by coming into lying. So if you lie yourself onto your back, ah, nothing better than a nice wee lie on your back. So do lift your hips, settle them back down again. Let your shoulders have a little move and let your feet get settled and comfortable where they are. You're going to lift one leg up towards the ceiling and you're going to extend up through the heel and down through the hip on the same side. So we're getting a nice evenness through the torso, but then we've got that gentle lifting forwards of your upper leg. So make sure that this hip and this side of the pelvis is really well down on the floor. So it's not this, this is entirely different. So the pelvis needs to stay even. So we've got a nice stretch through the back of your leg. And then you're going to settle that leg down. And we're going to come over to the other side. So same thing, just lifting up through your heel so you get that uh, feeling of length through the back of the leg and then slightly drawing your knee towards you or your whole leg towards you so that you get a nice stretch through the back of the thigh, through the back of the calf, into the sole of the feet as your toes come slightly towards you. And then let the leg come down. We're going to come to your first side again. So you're just going to lift it up, straight up to start with and then let it come a little bit towards you if it feels good. So allow the shoulders and the arms to rest wide, feeling relaxing, and then release it. So you can do this with your hands on your legs and you can do it with the, um, the leg just free floating. There's all sorts of pros and cons for everything. So do what feels right this way. And then you're going to settle your foot down on the floor and you're going to bring your feet really close in together and your knees really in, close in together. Hands are going to come onto the overhead and you're going to make your arms fairly straight. And then you're going to lift up with your hips to come up and into bridge pose so you get a feeling of support through the leg when you're still drawing your legs and your feet together. And then you're going to let your hips come down, settle them onto the ground, breathe out through the shoulders and the torso. Take an easy breath. And then we're going to do that one more time. So legs, knees, thighs, squeeze in towards one another. We lift up with our hips. We keep that feeling of squeezing through the arms. And if you want to, you can let your hands come up and overhead or up and over your heart. So you've got prayer pose extending up towards the ceiling. And then sink your hips down and let your hands come down. Do an easy breath. And then we're going to come up to standing. So if you want to bring yourself up so that your knees are a little bit bent, you can fold forwards and then extend wide through the hands all the way up, all the way up and overhead. And then hands come down to your heart. We're going to do a standing pose, so just make sure that you've got a little bit of space beside you. You're going to take one hand onto the support that you've got, other leg is going to lift up, and you're going to just catch hold of your ankle if it feels comfortable. You're going to let your hands slide forwards on the support, and your shoulders are going to slide forwards, and back leg can gently lift up if you would like. And then bring yourself back up into standing. Both feet on the floor and then the other side. So first of all, just catch hold of the leg if it feels good. Hands are coming up and overhead or free hand. Then with the lip kind of tipping forward so that the back knee lifts as the shoulders come down. And then press into your foot, bring yourself all the way up, all the way up and overhead and back to standing. Back to settled feet, the weight settles slightly back into the hips, shoulders relax down. And then we're going to do one more on each side. So you're going to lift up with one leg, hand comes up and overhead. Think that you're extending back through your back heel and that's what's going to help you to come forwards. And then lift up through your hand, bring yourself all the way back and to standing. And then we're going to do the opposite side. So same thing, catching hold of a bit of a leg, or a bit of trouser leg, 
You're going to tip yourself forward, but angle back through the back heel to lift yourself up and forward. And then bring yourself all the way back up again. And settled and even standing. We're going to come to a seated twist this next. So you're going to have your legs bent up. So we're going to be, this is staff pose when we're sitting and this is bent up staff pose. So we're going to have that one. So a version of Dandasana. You're going to take one hand across your body and you're going to settle it onto your own um, knee. And you're going to imagine that your hand is extending gently up towards the ceiling or the sky. Free hand is going to come onto the floor. And you're gently going to spiral around towards the open space. Bringing yourself back to the centre. And then to the opposite side. So hand settled onto your opposite knee. So you start with that slight incline and bring yourself out and round. So make space into the rib cage. And then bring yourself back to the centre. Both hands are going to be on your legs and you're just going to evenly fold forwards. Keeping your knees bent up. And then uncurl to come back up to sitting. And if you want to bring yourself to a position where you would like to do a little bit of breathing. Let's just move this a wee bit. So we're going to do some nice easy breathing today, as every day. You're going to take a nice smooth inhale in. Nice smooth inhale out. Exhale out. So inhale and exhale. As you're doing this, just notice the temperature of the air in your nostrils. So what's the sensation in your nose as you breathe in? And what's the difference between the inhale and the exhale? And just noticing how the inhale and the exhale are both very different qualities. So are kind of the opposite side of themselves. And then let your hands just come to rest. My quote for you today is inhale the future, exhale the past. Inhale the future, exhale the past. Of course, I could disagree with that on all sorts of levels because when you're thinking... <laughs> I like the idea of going forwards into the future and letting go of the past. However, we are in between. So we are the past, we are the future, and actually we're here now. So I kind of disagree with that quote as well as kind of liking it. So uh, take the bits of it you like, let go of the bits that don't really work. And your challenge today, if you want a challenge, is to find a colour that you absolutely adore. It could be in your house, in your garden, on Google. Uh, so just find one of those colours that makes you go, ah, oh, wonderful. Like one of those colours you could just dive into and that's all you need. Or not. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoy that bit of sun. Uh, yeah, thank you.